In a letter tonight, a group of Democratic lawmakers are calling on the attorney general to weigh in on when women can get an abortion after 15 weeks. Right now, abortions are legal up until then or after for medical emergencies. They argue the law isn't clear enough. This is a thorny situation we get in when we start legislating medical procedures. Valley OBGYN Dr. Sharon Thompson agrees. She echoes concerns from the lawmakers who want AG Chris Mays to issue an opinion. They argue there is no case law on the books to help guide doctors on providing abortions after 15 weeks. And clarification on what is considered a medical emergency is needed. In the environment we are in now, can you just act before she gets a fever, before her white blood cell count gets elevated, before her organs start to fail? Like how far down the path do you have to go before you can act? According to the AG's website, medical emergency is defined under state law as necessary to avoid death or when delaying abortion care will create serious risk impairment or a major bodily function. Medical emergency has been in Arizona law and other state laws for years. Uh, this is a setup. Anti-abortion advocate Kathy Herod argues the law couldn't be more clear. Doctors know what a medical emergency is. They understand what a substantial impairment of a major bodily function means. There's no reason for this attorney general opinion. Thompson says the law is not so black and white. If the legislators are saying that uh, the law will um, accept a doctor's definition of emergency, then we're good. Right, because doctors will use their own clinical judgment to determine what an emergency is. However, we know, we all know that, that being so vague can swing either way. Meanwhile, a spokesperson for the AG's office says Mays is currently reviewing the letter and will issue an opinion as soon as possible. And remember, the issue of abortion rights will likely be on the November ballot. Reporting in the newsroom, Emma Lockhart for Arizona's Family.